I'm Drew Blair, and welcome to my Classroom in a Box with a demonstration on hair. In this segment, I'll cover various types of hair, as well as different approaches to rendering hair. So, let's get started. The natural color of hair can be brunette, blonde, red, gray, or many colors in between. Hair can be curvy or straight, thick or thin, but it generally behaves in groups, and there's the problem. Since artists know that even a small group of hairs contain many individual hairs, they tend to portray every single hair. But in reality, when we're looking at hair, we rarely see each and every hair individually. Sometimes we only see the highlights. So try not to look at individual hairs. Instead, we will begin to look at hair in groups because that is how it behaves. When I render hair, I'm either creating a light colored hair against a dark background, or dark colored hair against a light background. Simple, really, but each requires a different approach. And in this video, I'll show you different techniques which will allow you to create photorealistic hair accurately and easily. The second problem is our unconscious tendency to organize things, and hair is no exception. There are seven things that we unconsciously do when making hair that compromise the realism. And I'll be showing you this later and my technique for avoiding these problems. 